everybody, this is Money Mom. I'm going to upload this video Saturday. I'm going to talk to you guys about things that we could all get rid of right now. Let's get started. Well, as we all know, many of us are working on downsizing and organizing. It's something I think we are doing on a continual basis. So a lot of people love to get rid of things. And sometimes I think they kind of do it quickly because they think, you know what, we're not using it. So we'll start with clothes. I was going to give you guys a tour around the house while doing this, but I thought I can just sit and tell you. Number one, clothes. A lot of people have more clothes than what they need. But instead of just getting rid of pieces of clothing that you don't think you're going to wear, what I propose to do is take out those pieces you're not wearing, so let's just say they're summer wear for example, and all of a sudden put them on. Wear anything you're not wearing right now. If it fits you, wear it. Then see, hmm, is this something that's comfortable? Is this something I want to keep? And if it is, go ahead and keep it. And if for some reason it doesn't, you don't feel like it fits you correctly or it's not comfortable, then donate it. I think that's a great way. Hey, it's a great way to get some a new wardrobe without even buying anything. Number two, one thing I did recently is I went through all of our medicine cabinets, oh, I only have two, and just looked for any meds that might be or vitamins or some, something that might be outdated. And there was only a little bit, so I only had to throw out a couple things, but look through and see if there's anything that's outdated or expired and throw that out. That won't take very long. Number three, and this is a big one that everybody talks about, paperwork or old coupons. This is something that I'm always doing, and that probably takes more time than a lot of the other things, is looking through any paperwork you don't need anymore or coupons. Obviously, I don't have a shredder, but you know some people love to shred all of that or take it somewhere and have it shred if it's finance papers. But it's really good to keep on top of that. And if you use paperwork you need to create a file system for that. Number four, old makeup. I just recently went through my makeup. That's why I haven't purchased any makeup in a long time except for that $1 blue mascara that I liked. I haven't purchased any lip balm, lipsticks, nothing because I'm using everything that I have. And if it's really old, I'll throw it away. I've had a lot of makeup given to me, so that's why I have so much. Number five, food. I'm going to be donating some food um, this week, as a matter of fact. Things that are brand new that we're not using that we can share with another family. Maybe there's something in your cupboard. You might have maybe gone on a healthy eating plan and you're like, you know what? The, this cereal doesn't meet our healthy eating plan. Brand new boxes. Who can I donate it to? So that's something to think about. And last but not least, anything in the kitchen. For me, as you know, I have a very small kitchen. I don't have a lot of counter space. And so I'm always looking for ways to create more counter space and get rid of things. Unfortunately for me, because I cook a lot, I really use everything that I have. Now I have gotten rid of some things, but I keep re-looking all over my kitchen and I've given some cookbooks away, but everything else I have right now, I use it. So, you know, my thing is I don't have enough space for it. I wish I could pay one of you to come help me organize my kitchen. It's a very small one. It's challenging to organize small spaces. If any of you have any um, tips on organizing a very small kitchen, I'd love to hear be it below. Anyway, last but not least, I want to leave you with this, and I know we've heard it on other videos. I think that life can get overwhelming. We've talked about it before. You know what? We could just give a task five minutes if we want. It's amazing with undistracted time what five minutes can do. If you don't feel you have enough time to do something and you're like, gosh, going through all this paperwork, it would be drudgery. So you know what? I'm going to spend five minutes a day every day this week going through paperwork. You will be amazed. Also, I want to say if you're going to sit down and relax and watch a TV program, let's say you want to watch America's Got Talent, well, guess what? On those commercials, you can get up and go do things. It's, it's really amazing how much we can accomplish in a short period of time. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys. Any tips below, I always love to hear them. And I love you and I appreciate you. Bye-bye.